Hello everybody, I'm Chris Pros, you're watching Pros Park Pass, and today we are at Disney Sea. And today's video is brought to you by our Patreons, Mitch and Steve. Thanks guys. This Disney theme park is so different than any other theme park because it it's just like almost like you're it feels to be honest with you guys, it's gonna be crazy. It feels like Universal Studios. It's so cool though. You're walking in. Here we go. It's got all these different little islands and rivers and areas. Let's go check it all out. You guys, there it is, the giant volcano right at the center. There's Amanda and Miles walking along. And this place is just awesome. This video, I'm gonna have an experience because this is Miles and Amanda's very first time here. And we're gonna show you what their experience is like. Amanda wants to go do Indiana Jones right off the bat because why not? All right, so here we are. This is, we, we were staying at a Disney um, hotel. We're gonna show that video tomorrow, this whole hotel. It's adorable. It's adorable, but they give so you, amazing. they give you, if you stay at a Disney hotel, they let you in the park 15 minutes early. I know this doesn't sound like a lot, but worth it. it's worth it. So yeah. you can get to, the rides aren't going, but you go get lined up with rides and then you also use your um, app to get any, make all your purchases before everybody else can. And so we are going to go do what's called Aquatopia because this is a unique attraction they have just here. I did not do this last time I was here. So it'll be my first okay. time doing it as well. And then Amanda and left that one and go to Indiana Jones. Of course, sometimes my breath gets taken away by how beautiful this, this place is. Oh, right. <laughs> but my wife is absolutely gorgeous and I do love her. This is amazing. Isn't it fun? It's so different. Look at, I know, it doesn't unique. feel like doesn't any... It doesn't feel like any Disney park I've ever been to. This is so incredible. different. All right, guys, this is it. You can see the cars going. This is the Aquatopia. It's like Autopia, but it's in water. And since we're here early, we get to, we're gonna be one of the first ones to ride this attraction. We're very excited. Ha -ha. Very fun area. So they actually let us in 30 minutes early. So we were gonna go to Aquatopia, but it doesn't open for another 30 minutes. So Amanda's like, and let's no one here. So let's just walk around. Guys, I'm like, this is okay. So cool. Like, look, we have the park to ourselves right now. I can't even handle this. Like, this to me is amazing. No one is here. It's just us. You guys, I want to show you this. Look at this plane that's crashed right over there. What's the number of the plane? C3PO. <laughs> you guys, here we are at Indiana Jones. This is so wonderful. This is amazing. Oh my God. Like awesome. Indy, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, Indy. I love him so much. Here we are guys, Indiana Jones and the Temple of the Crystal Skull. That's the sign. This is the sign. The Temple of the Crystal Skull. The legend continues from Disney and George Lucas. There he goes. <laughs> you guys, one of the things about this Indiana Jones that people say is so cool is the line, while you get away in line, oh, blows air. It feels so good. It's very hot and humid here. Not quite to Florida standards, but still very hot and humid. I think you'll definitely get to Florida temperatures for sure. Um, this is beautiful. Like this is this is unreal. Here we are, guys. This is the the line. We're really in Indiana Jones land now. Like we're really we're really in it. We are in Indy. Indy is here. That's so cool. Dude, this is my this dream. This is Miles going up a little bit ahead. This is my dream. Brave explorer. And here we go, guys. Indiana Jones adventure. What is my dream? What is my dream come true? Miles has to be careful because there's booby traps. Booby traps. Booby traps. They shoot poisonous darts. Oh my goodness, you have to be super careful. That's why I ran. We're going in. Now, this is very unique because we're so early, we go through the line and people talk about the queue. And this queue is absolutely wow. Holy cow! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. look up. Look around this whole room. We're here alone. This is like, you guys don't even understand, please. Like, I can't even explain how incredible this is. We're here alone in Indiana Jones in Tokyo. Amazing. Look at this room. Oh, look at this. All of it is amazing. We're 
we're just walking along. It's actually nice and cool. It feels very cold in here. It feels very good. It's not humid. It's a little cold air, which is nice. Wow, look up, guys. All right, a few other people have actually joined the queue with us. We're up to the second level now, walking along. Look at this amazing artwork. It's so fun. Oh, look at this. Continue on the line. Wow. Here we go. We're going along, and this is... Oh, here we go. Look, something's happening. It's lighting up. Whoa, look at this. It's all lit up here. Look, it's all lit up. Wow. On both sides. Look at that. And we're gonna go right through here. Now we're to the next little part of the line. And oh! This is the next part of the line. So when I came here uh, two months ago, I did the single rider line and it was all missed. And so I'd missed all this whole line. We're going down the stairs, lots of stairs. Keep going little guy. You guys, where? <laughs> there she is. Amanda, you're gonna drive it. <laughs> there she goes guys, she's gonna be driving us. <laughs> done. I'm done. Like, <laughs> when we first got here, Chris was like, "Oh, it's the same. We don't need to go to it first. We didn't need to do it." And I'm so glad we did, you guys. Like that was the most perfect. It's not quite the same. It's not the same. It's darker and it's scarier, but it's so smooth and everything's working amazing and it's so intense and the surround sound is just flawless and perfect like it's literally perfect i am blown away like i could seriously just be like okay i'm done like see ya like i am blown away i'm Peace done out. everything is perfect you can't get any better like amazing okay so amanda went to write it again miles and i are just kind of relaxing i have to show you this cool thing they have these are these little flags okay this like says you're the best they like say you're awesome you're fantastic you're amazing and they give these to you and then you can give them to cast members or if you just see somebody that you think is really cool, you give it to them. And like Miles is seeing like lots of other little uh, children his age and he goes and gives them to them and they all seem really happy when they get like, ah, so, so fun. Okay, so I wanted to show you, I have one of these things that we have for giving away. So I was kind of show it to you so you can see how awesome this is. It looks like a little letter, but then unfolds. And this one side, it's on English. You're great, you're awesome, you're the best, you're fantastic, thank you. And this side over here, it's in uh, Japanese. And then what you do is you just give it to uh, cast members or a person that you think is awesome. Uh, make it even deeper connections by giving a Dream Garland card. Such a fun idea. Love it. Love that they do this. You guys have another little roid here. It's like Indiana Jones at Disneyland Paris. We're about to do this. Miles is tall enough and is excited. Wait, what? What is this? This is impressive, you guys. After show you the outside, we walked by and Miles like, it's called the Raging Spirits. There's like fire and water. And Miles like, how do they do that? Yeah, there's like a, we were at the very end of the park, so there's not a lot of people here. Um, but Amanda did Indiana Jones twice, and now we're gonna do this one, and then we're gonna try to get back over to Aqua Coaster, and then Tower of Terror. Oh, I think I said Aqua Coaster, it's Aquatopia. Old rickety mine train. So this is not Indiana Jones roller coaster like in Disneyland Paris it is, but I'm gonna say it's Indiana Jones. I'm gonna say it counts, right? So I'm gonna say this park has two Indiana Jones attractions. Oh my gosh, double Indy, dream come true. It doesn't get any better than this. Double what's, what's better than one Indy? Two. And technically I got three because I rode the real Indy twice. So, you know, but this is so fun because this is the Indiana Jones roller coaster. It looks just like the one in Paris. This is amazing. I'm so excited to 
to ride it. I didn't even know this was here. You guys, I didn't know anything about this park, and so it truly is unfolding as we go. And I'm so happy that you guys are here with us experiencing this because you're experiencing it with us, and I'm so happy that you're here. So I say the secret key word today is going to be indie. If you're feeling fancy, you could do double indie. If you're feeling crazy, do triple indie. Nobody does triple indie. Nobody does triple indie. Don't get crazy. All right, I got to show there. There's a loop. So you come down a hill, and I was like, the whole time I'm riding, I'm like, where's the loop? You go down a hill, and at the bottom of the hill, it's, oh, there we go. It's filled with all this mist. You come through the wall of mist, and you're in the loop. It was so fun. So the first mist that you go through is like nice and cold. Then you come through this part. This is the second thing in mist, and it's like hot. So you come flying through that this hot mist at the end. So fun, though. Oh, they're filling it up. They're filling it up. Watch. They fill it up with mist and then you come through there and it's all like, it's this is like the hot steam. There they are. <laughs> and this is one of Miles' favorite things you've ever seen. It's hard to see in camera, but that's fire and water. Whoa. Whoa. Hi everyone, Chris is getting some drinks and so he left me alone with his camera. So I just wanted to come on here. He always does those awesome, like positive messages in the videos. And I want to do that with you guys here right now. I am in Tokyo Disney Sea. You guys are here with me. I want you to put your hand on your heart. Take a deep breath with me. You can tell yourself, say, I am amazing. I am here on this earth for a reason. I make the world a better place. I am loved and you are loved by us. You have a friend in us. We're so happy that you're here for your kind messages, your kind words. We read all of the comments and your kindness means the absolute world to us. We're just this little community of Disney fans and travel fans and theme park fans and whatever you guys want us to film or show or do or anything like that at all, don't hesitate to let us know in the comments below. Or if you're going through a hard time right now, let us know in the comments below. I mean, this community is so awesome and so positive. Everyone can kind of help boost and uh, lift everyone together. Or if you just have fun stories, or if you like what you see, anything at all, I want this to be very interactive. I want this to be a safe place. And you are loved, you are amazing. We're so happy that you guys are here. I hope you're enjoying our uh, our day here at Tokyo Disney Sea. And we're just so happy and so grateful to be here. All right, what you got there? This is so good. We have to do a so good meter, you guys. This is so good. This is so good. This is so good. Oh my. This is so good. Poor so I good. already told them that we have to get another one. I'm like, I don't care where we are. We well, tell everybody, what it is you, park. tell everybody what it is that you're okay, drinking. Okay, so this is a sparkling uh, tapioca boba like fruit tea, and it is so good. It is so good. I already told them, I'm like, we have to get another one. It's so it's good. It's a boba. It's the like tapioca the... boba popping in the middle, and there's like fruit chunks, and it's a little bit fizzy. Oh my gosh. So refreshing. It is so tasty. It is so fresh. Fresh fruit. Mm. Mm. So this is the Aquatopia, like Autopia, but on water. This is the, here we go. They're getting in, guys. Cute little car. You guys ready? We're getting, oh, we just took off. <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> oh my god! And we're not even on a track. It's like a trackless system. In the oh, water. oh, we're going fast. <laughs> Pick up some speed. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to go. You guys, there. This is like <laughs> this little. Like thing. We're just like zip. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> I'm driving. Miles said he's driving. We're going backwards. <laughs> Stop it, Miles! What are you doing? Turn us around right now! <laughs> We're in the, there's a whirlpool right there! Oh, there's a whirlpool! Oh, not in the whirlpool. Oh, not in the, Miles, you're going around the whirlpool! <laughs> You go forwards, you go backwards, it spins you around. <laughs> and, oh! It's <laughs> fun again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't even know. You can't tell where we're supposed to go. Also, you stop, you park, and wait a second, and also, you're going again. Oh, it's amazing. 
There must be different tracks because we didn't go the waterfall. We went through that way, so there's different ways to go. And we did the whirlpool. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, they're backing in. Well, that was a very unusual attraction, but I loved it. All right, guys, we just are walking towards Tower of Terror. That's where we're we'll going to next. This takes us kind of like the turn of the century, like New York area. So let's check this all out. And we just walked through Cape Cod area. There's Amanda right there. We just walked through Cape Cod area. All right, guys, this is the Tower of Terror here, located here at Disney Sea. It's the Hotel High Tower. It's not the Twilight Zone version like they have in Disneyland Paris. It's not, uh, or even like they have in Florida. It's its own unique story. And there it is. Very interesting. Not really that thrilling. Like it doesn't drop a ton. This drops twice. But the story is very amazing. The story is that this guy, Hightower, goes out and he finds a cursed, um, I don't know, like a statue. And he wants it. And he steals it and brings it back to the hotel. And then it goes on and curses the hotel and makes the elevator drop. That's the story. We are inside the hotel lobby for the Tower of Terror, guys. It's very unique. Cool antiquities. Foreshadowing. Look at the elevator. Oh. All right, what do you it's, think of the Tower of Terror? I mean, like, seriously, you guys, every ride we go on, I'm like blown away because I have my expectations and they exceed my expectations. So it's totally different. It is a little dark and scary, but I love it because the storyline is like a seafaring man and it seems like he brought home like yeah. something that's An cursed. antiquity that's not, he stole it. Yeah, yes. and yep. so it curses the hotel. Yes. It's like seriously awesome. Just not, like as the intense as, not as intense as Guardians of the not Galaxy. Not as intense as Guardians of the Galaxy and shorter. Like it only dropped like twice, but it was really cool too because for like a half second you could see Tokyo. Like it was just so cool. All right, we're gonna take this Disney Sea one-way train because Amanda is on this hunt for popcorn. I can't believe it. We went the whole day yesterday without any popcorn. I didn't try any over at Disneyland, and I'm like, what am I doing? Like, I gotta do my popcorn checks. Like, that's the reason why I'm here is the popcorn. So we're gonna do popcorn. All right, we got this little railway train. It's an elevated train. So now we're up above everybody because we're on the elevated train. <laughs> This is the electric railway. It's very pretty here. I have no idea like what happened. Like literally the last 15 minutes, I man's like, I want popcorn, I want popcorn. We're walking along also. She's like, that's what I want. And we walked into a restaurant. There's no popcorn in here, but we're getting a whole bunch of food. This is so fun. I'm so happy we stumbled in here. We oh, stumbled in yeah. here. We're by so, the Aquatopia. I got shrimp, yes. white fish, some potatoes. Yes. Uh, Amanda got a salad. Salad, corn chowder, corn chowder a, a roll, roll, a strawberry. Strawberries. And this, look at this. Delicious looking treat. I don't know what this is, but I'm excited for it. And then, and then Miles got the kids meal, which is like rice patties. It was uh, in the of shape of Mickey. Yes. And then this looks delicious too. Called the Ocean Wave. The Ocean Wave. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I'm so glad we stumbled in here. This is amazing. How is it? Good. Is it good? <laughs> I love it because we're right on the ocean. I mean, you can see the ocean and then this little restaurant i didn't even see what it was yeah, called it was we really did just like stumble in here it's so fun all right guys this we is we already went for it we went, let me show you here though miles destroyed it oh, yeah. i destroyed we it destroyed everything it we did have a little bit of a panic fresh. attack miles took that that's the cherry tomato and he thought it was a cherry and he's like what is this <laughs> Surprise. Okay. surprise. All right, what do you got there, babe? So this is the dessert. This is the orange mousse mm. type stuff. Mm. Mm. Oh, you guys. That is so tasty. Oh, boom pow. 
That is so tasty. It's like the most perfect orange mousse flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Light as a cloud. So delicious. Ooh. Packed full of flavor or not? It's packed full of flavor. Oh my gosh. I haven't even tried the blue stuff. Let's try the blue water. What is this? I don't know. Mmm. Mmm. Also very flavorful and delicious. And what's this? An orange? Do you yeah. go with that? All right, well, well done, babe. Mm. All right, guys, we are now gonna go ride this amazing attraction called Journey to the Center of the Earth. And this is one of my favorite areas of the whole park. It's so fun to look at. You walk through this tunnel and comes like this Jules Verne era. It's really, if you like steampunk, you would love this. Such a fun area, guys. Look at this amazing. So cool. So cool. Okay, we're gonna do journey to the center of the earth. Right down here, it's a very interesting uh, roller, to roller coaster type experience. You're going along kind of like telling a story and then you see some creatures in the center of the earth and also you have one massive big drop and you go up a hill. So it's not real intense, but it's a cool story. All right, so you just went to do journey to the center of the earth. It is actually down for a little bit. So we're now gonna kind of go explore a little bit. Amanda's like, let's go explore. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna do the 20,000 leagues under the sea. It's like a little submarine. I don't know anything really about it. It just says it's an exciting adventure in a deep sea in a small submarine. So I was like, well, that sounds fun. Yep, here we go. 20,000 leagues under the sea. All dives are for research purposes only. This is, looks like this is Captain Nemo's office, I would assume. That's right, guys, we're going to Kraken Reef. We're gonna release the Kraken. That's the little sub things that we're getting in. There it goes. It was, that was a really fun ride to, you're, you're pretending to be a submarine, right? And at one point they're talking, I didn't understand what they were saying because it's in Japanese, but Miles figured it out, they had like a little joystick and you're like moving your flashlight around. They had like these little mer creatures down there. And every time you shine it on them, they like go ding and they disappear. But they end up, end up rescuing you because you run out of power. Really unique ride, really unique attraction. All right, this video is sponsored by our Patreons, Nitch Anderson and Steve Peterson. They are amazing humans and they have a huge, deep love of Disney. And they wanted to tell this message to other Disney fans to see if they'd be interested in going to this really cool event. It's called the PNW Mouse Meet. It's a mouse meet event up in Linwood, Washington. It's gonna be held on July 29th. You go to pnwmousemeet.com and buy a ticket. They're having Caitlin Robrack, the current voice of Minnie Mouse, she'll be speaking. They're going to be pin trading, charity auctions, they have Disney Imagine, they have uh, Pixar animators, uh, Disney storytellers, 
It's an amazing event for our fans of Disney. And they said, hey, if you guys want to come to this, come meet some other Disney fans. It might be sold out, but you go ahead and check that out at uh, pnwmousemeet.com. This is an amazing event for all Disney fans. I just want to say thank you so much to Niche and Steve for being an amazing sponsor here. And let's continue on the video. All right, so we're now going to go do Journey to the Center of the Earth. It was closed before, but that's what we're going to go do now. Here's the thing is, they have different rules. Like some rides I can film on, some of them I can't. So if I'm on a ride, you don't see me filming. That's why. That's we are rule followers. Oh so my gosh. let's go do yeah. this. And I just have to say like, everything is blowing me away. Everything is just completely blowing me away. It's so incredible. And so if we're not able to show you, if you have questions about rides, please ask us. We would love to tell you about it. All right, check it out. Journey to the center of the earth. And if you look at the, it's like moving like lava. Alright, we just walked in line and we're gonna walk around this little lava pit because we're going to the center of the earth, guys. Those are the carts that you get in and kind of go slow and tells a story, and at the very end it kind of picks up, goes down a little bit of a drop. Alright, Miles, you're gonna get in there. Good job, good luck. Alright, so what'd you think? Say that was a wild ride. That was so unexpected. Explain it because nobody knows. I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what just happened, but I liked it. Like, you are in this it little pod and you're exploring, like, down in the earth, and there's, like, pretty little crystals and, like, cute little creatures. And then it, like, goes awry. You miss a turn and you keep going, like, deeper, deeper, deeper. And things get scarier and scarier and scarier and more loud. Then there's, like, some explosion. And then before you know, you turn around and there's some huge, like, monster alien. Like, the and then you're like, I gotta get out of here. And then out of nowhere, your little pod is like, ding. And then you're like, ding, 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 ding. Oh, it was so cool. I don't know what just happened, but I liked it. Amanda was sitting in front of me and we went down this big hill and like her hair, like it was, it's pitch black too at this point. I was like laughing went, and I inhaled her hair. <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely a beautiful part. There's the volcano. You got water down here. And it's just like this amazing area. And this park just keeps getting bigger and bigger. This whole area is a big play place for children. We're taking Miles there, he doesn't know. And there's an amazing fun attraction over there, like boats. Just so much to see and do. The last time I was here, I remember walking through here and all I can think of is Miles. He's going to love this. We're going into Triton's Kingdom. Little guy looking out. Triton's Kingdom, and it goes all the way back there, guys. It is huge. All right, guys, so this next little part of the video, uh, we're gonna take Miles into this little area for kids. We're gonna spend time with him to make sure he's enjoying it. We're not gonna film this area because, you know, it's children, and then once we're done, we'll come back. See you, in, but for you, it'll be instantaneous. We'll see you in like one second. We have to show this, it's like these cells and you get in there and you bounce back and forth between the cells, like these aerial cells. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. <laughs> All right, guys, flash warning. This is going to flash bright, so for those of you who might be photosensitive. Okay. That man's going to get against the wall. It's going to flash. Now look at her shadow against the wall. What? That is so sweet. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, Miles! Miles Shadow. That is so cool. All right, Amanda's doing another You Guys, it's gonna be bright. So again, flashing warning. Um, okay, you can look now and look at that. That is unreal. I don't know how long we were in there for. I know that Miles was running around. Amanda found a little bench to sit down. Mama Bear fell asleep over here. But it was it was fun. We had played some games and Miles got some wiggles out and lots of fun little things for kids to do. All right, now we're gonna show you this other really cool area. Check it out. Look at this. Let's go in here, guys. These are all called ports, different areas. They do have little boats that can take you to the different ports. So instead of thinking of them lands, think of them as ports. I love this area. This is where they have a double decker Carousel, you guys see that? Double decker. Bunch of food and it smells amazing. It smells so good, like curry. It smells so like curry. Good. Little camel over there. Look at this amazing area. We're gonna walk. It looks just like we're in Agrabah. I'm taking them into Sinbad's storybook voyage, guys. 
Think of it as like, it's a small world, but Sinbad version. Very fun. There's Sinbad. Just about ready to go on his adventures. We're sending Sinbad off and she's dancing for good luck. He crashed his ship, but he's okay. The mermaid's helping out. Remember that egg and nest when we get to Disneyland Paris. He's rescuing the birds. They're trying to steal the treasure and the giant's locked up, but Sinbad's gonna help the giant escape. He helped the giant escape. I'm not sure what's going on here, but they just thankful for him. And now we're in Monkey Island. Uh, I think a well is going by. Yep, a well. Look at all the stars. I think this is the song. Very congratulations, Sinbad. Fireworks in the sky. Goodbye. You guys, he stopped shaking the release. What is busted. it? Busted. I'm so busted. It's so good. It's the mango, so good. tapioca, tapioca, sparkling tea, boba. whatever it is. So good. It is so good. This is not the saddest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. You're just staring at the big bad beach because we well, can't get in. I didn't understand. We can't get in. We did a lot. I didn't understand the system. We had to do a lottery and we did a lottery last minute. We didn't get in. And Miles so, was disappointed. I feel bad. I feel like I dropped the ball on that one. So he's literally, for like five minutes, you guys, he's just been staring at the show. And I'm like, oh, this is the saddest thing I've ever Are you just staring at it, like hoping that they'll just let you in? I am. I was like, maybe they'll say that. Oh, that poor, that American, poor man so sad. in his tie, his red tie, blue shorts, bright green shoes. Let me in, sir. <laughs> Please, sir. Oh, that's okay. We've had a wonderful day. We've done so many things. Just not the big fan beat. That's you know the thing that we wanted to do the very most out of all of it. Out of all the things. That, I'm just kidding. I don't even know what it is. So. We're totally fine. We've had a perfect day, but I just had to show you guys how sad he was. So if you're here, do the lottery if you want this. We, we ran from the other side of the park all the way here. Literally one like end of the park to the other. 91 degrees, it's super hot. And we're like, come on, Miles, run. And then I said, we gotta go. We get to the thing, we're like, we made it. And they're like, uh, you have to have a ticket. And we're like, what? So okay. now we're all tickets. All I don't need no sweaty. stinking tickets. Now we're all hot and sweaty. I think it's finally time for popcorn. We've been talking about it. You keep saying that. Seriously, I cannot believe I still haven't had any popcorn. All right, guys, we've. I'm gonna give you some of the flavors. Okay. Uh, popcorn. There's berry cheesecake. Sounds delicious. Caramel. And sounds delicious. Milk chocolate. Sounds very delicious right now. Garlic shrimp. No, that's a no for me. No. That's a salt. Hard pass. Salt sounds really good, actually, surprisingly. Just salt. Okay. okay. Oh, there's curry. Oh, there's curry, Black too. Black pepper. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. I know I know what I want. What sounds the best to me is uh, salt. Wait, 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 don't say. Okay. What would you guys, of those flavors, what you want? Oh, there's soy sauce. And soy sauce, yeah. Maybe not that one. Soy sauce and butter. What would you guys choose? What, what would, you, what would choose? you choose? What popcorn? Somebody many options. I know what she's going to choose. She's going right straight for the milk chocolate. But what would you that's, guys choose? That's really, like, screaming my name. Let's go do it this. That's so good. Milk chocolate? Is that yeah. my first yeah, Tokyo Disney popcorn? <gasps> Oh my gosh, okay, I'm excited. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. It's finally happening. It's finally happening. Stay calm. No one panic. I'm panicking. To be honest with you, the berry tea cheesecake, kind of, that sounded really good to me. I don't know, guys. I can smell it. It's right here. I mean, it's still going pretty much with milk chocolate, but man, berry cheesecake oh, smells popcorn so smells so good. Wow. And you guys, here's the garlic shrimp popcorn. You can't quite smell it. You think you would be able to? Dreams go round! Dreams go round! <laughs> Bye! 
the cast members here are awesome. So something very interesting here about Japan, the sun comes up about 4.30 in the morning. It's like 4.45, the sun is up in the morning. At, but it, the sun goes down very early. It goes down like seven o'clock, the sun is down. So this is kind of hard with um, the jet lag because the second my eyes, I like, open up my eyes, I see like the curtains in the hotel, like it's kind of light outside. I'm like, oh, it's actually six in the morning. Let's get up. It's like 4.30. I'm like, oh, wow. Oh. There's Amanda and Miles walking along. Red umbrella. Okay, guys, you found it. The milk chocolate popcorn. It smells amazing. It smells better than I can even describe it. It's sweet and chocolatey, but oh, it smells so good. And it's funny because part of me just wanted salt. Chris was like, you cannot just have salt for your You can't first start with your one Tokyo salt. She's like, I want salt. Like, I was like, no. I want salt. <laughs> but I'm glad we're choosing this. It's sweet, sweet popcorn. <laughs> Oh. Milk chocolate milk popcorn. Chocolate. There's just a little bit of milk mm. chocolate on oh. it. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting this flavor. Mm. Oh my gosh. Little guys getting some? It's delicious. It's different than what I imagined. Is it really sweet it's or? No, like not overly sweet. It's like popcorn. Well, I mean, it's like popcorn, guys. <laughs> no, it's delicious. It's popcorn. It's a little bit of like a little bit of like a salty flavor, but the chocolate isn't overpowering. And is it like is it melty? Like mm -hmm. like melty. It's like the chocolate is melted on top. Um, like it smells so good. It's not overly sweet. This is so good. I am thrilled. Yay! First Japanese popcorn. Ooh, I'm so excited to try them all now. Let's try them all. There's the Aquatopia. That one went way over there in the corner. We didn't even go over there. We went that way. They do have like little steamers that drop you off at different locations, but we're doing the full circle. There's Sinbad. There's the Nautilus sub. That's the uh, uh, submarine li line. There's no line now. That's the entrance we came in right there. It's very incredible. And uh, yeah, I love it. It's unlike any other Disney park I've ever been to. Hey, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching these videos. It means the world. Wait a minute. Did you hit that like button already? Okay, thank you so much. So this has been a fantastic day for us. We've had a lot of fun, but we are tired. It's hot. It's, uh, it's almost about four in the afternoon and Amanda and I have decided that we're gonna go back to the hotel and maybe just kind of relax um, and maybe get a little bit of a nap in. If we can come back, then we'll come back and do a little bit more. But our next video I'm gonna show you is gonna be our amazing hotel that Disneyland uh, Ambassador Hotel we're staying at. We'll show you all of that in our next video. And uh, we look forward to seeing you there. Hit the subscribe button and hit the share button. You guys are the best. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Tokyo Disney Sea is awesome and awesome. I tried to rhyme there, it just didn't work. But let me start again. Tokyo Disney Sea is amazing. You would love it. <laughs>